Do you need Limbol to communicate with another software? Perhaps you need Limbol to send information to another software, or perhaps you have another software that needs to send information to Limbol. That is totally possible, and the way that is done is through the API. Now, an API is an application programmable interface, and in order to use it, it does require that you have an understanding of programming and servers, as well as some other technical expertise. If you don't have that understanding, there is another option through Zapier. In this video, we're going to be talking about both the API and Zapier integration options. So if you need to get to this documentation for the API, you can actually find this on our website. You just go to the resources tab and select API documentation. Now, one thing that's great about this documentation is it is modern, it's super useful. If you have the knowledge, you're gonna be able to find everything you need and also you have the ability to run in Postman. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's totally okay. We're gonna get back to you. So one thing you're gonna need if you do this is you're going to need some API information from your account. And the way you go to get that is you go to your settings and configuration and towards the bottom there is a section called API settings and here's where you're going to be able to get your client ID and secret. Now you need to keep your client ID and client secret safe. Don't share it with people. Don't post it online. This information will allow somebody with knowledge of an API to access information in your account and so it is sensitive. So that's going to conclude the portion of talking about the API. If you understand APIs, you're probably going to have everything you need. If you don't, I want to show you Zapier. So Zapier is a program and a company that allows you to connect different software in the way that we've described. And one thing I like about Zapier is it's very user friendly. Now, there is a free version of the software and you can do a lot of things with the free version of Zapier, but there is a cost if you start requiring a lot of different integrations. So keep that in mind. I only have the free version and I'm able to do everything I need with it. So here we are going to make what's called a zap. So a zap is basically what they call an integration. And so in this zap, I wanna connect two different software options. Now, if you search here, you're gonna see that there is a ton. You can find tons of different software such as QuickBooks is one thing that we get asked for a lot. I'm not going to go into all the different options because they have over 2,000 software options here. But I'm going to select Google Sheets because it's something that I have access to. We're going to create the situation where we have an asset in Limbo. I'm going to go to my Limbo account. And in this circumstance, I have a forklift and I have an outer meter. And let's say, obviously, you can update the hour meter in Limbo, and that's probably the best way to do it, and you can put that in PM. Lots of great functionality there, but let's say for whatever reason, I need hours updated from this Google Sheet to go into Limbo. So I'm just going to write here hours in my Google Sheet. So going back to the Zap, let's make this connection happen. Let's pull information from Google Sheets and push it into Limbo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a triggering event and I'm going to say every time a newer updated spreadsheet row is added, we're going to have it update Limbo. So I'm going to hit continue here and it's going to have me go into my account. Now, I've already signed into my account. If you do this fresh, it's going to ask you more information like how to sign into that Google Sheets account. Okay, so I need to choose my sheet. I'm going to search, here we go, our sheet to update Limbo. And I'm gonna choose sheet one. That just means that it's gonna pull from this tab one. And particularly the column that I want I'm just going to say any, any column, because so that's probably enough for now. Okay, any column will work. So we're going to continue. We can test it out. I'm going to put in one, two, three. And I'm just going to hit there. And you can see it found that value, one, two, three. So we know that that side of it is working. Okay. Now that we've done that, now we want it to push information to Limbo. And so I'm going to select Limbo, and I could search it, but I had it there on my list, so I'm going to select it. 
and we're going to say we want it to update a field and we're going to choose my account again if i hadn't already logged in the limbo previously it would say hey how do i log in here and it would request the api information that we've looked at previously now i continue i choose my location and i'm working out of test location today I'll be able to find my asset, my forklift, and I want it to update the hour meter. And I just want it to enter text or insert data. Specifically, I'm going to have it pull from that hours column that I made on my sheet. And I hit continue. Perfect. And now I'm going to hit a quick test and continue. And it says that we're good to go. It showed the value. And I'm gonna turn on the zap. So now when I go into my Limbo account, it should be updating with anything that comes over from that sheet. In fact, you can see that it has already updated that one, two, three. So now if I update this to one, two, six, it will update in Limbo. Now keep in mind that this is not going to happen right away. Zapier has on their website that they will for the free version update every 15 minutes and so if you don't see it update right away give it 15 minutes and then check again and don't forget that you'll probably need to refresh your data to pull in the most recent data well that is a quick tutorial of zapier it's really powerful there's lots of options out there let us know if you have any questions feel free to reach out over chat as always we're here to help